Hey YouTube, Copper Sand here. Today we're looking into the history of a class that has completely disappeared from the game. The warrior class, Dragon Knight. A long, a long time ago, in a different age, where game trailers were shot by a camera recording the computer screen, the third job was introduced, bringing countless new skills and challenges to a still young and innocent game called Maple Story. The warrior classes were able to advance into three separate classes with the third job advancement. Fighters could become a Crusader, Best Class Page could become a White Knight, and the Spearman became a Dragon Knight, a class that has since been removed from the game. The Spearman was a class that focused on providing defensive and HP related party buffs with skills like Hyper Body and Iron Will. Because literally everyone had low HP back then, this class was a must have in any bossing party like Zakum and later on Horntail. Spearman also had to choose between leveling up their Spear Mastery skill or their Polearm Mastery skill. There were also separate final attacks and separate booster skills for either Polearms or Spears. Back then, weapons also had different formulas for how much damage they dealt, depending on the weapon type and the type of animation that your character made when attacking. A character could either perform a stab or one of two swings, with spears dealing more damage when your character used the stabbing animation and polearms dealing more damage with the swing animation. This wasn't super important in second job, but defined your character by the time you reached third job, even more so than the other warrior classes. So third job Spearman would advance to become a Dragon Knight. This class had various dragon themed attacks and buffs, like for example Dragon Blood, which drained your HP but increased your weapon attack, Sacrifice, which would cost a percentage of your HP to use but would boost your damage by quite a bit every time you use this attack, it would deal a ton of damage. It was a single attack but it also ignored enemy defense, which was pretty unique back then. The iconic Dragon Roar skill would cost you up to 30% of your max HP per cast at max level, but this skill dealt damage in a really big area around you and even stunned monsters, which was great for taking out low HP or lower leveled monsters in one shot. Back then, most classes had quite small hitboxes on their skills and this was by far the biggest range attack of any warrior class back then. And then of course there also were the two iconic Dragon Knight grinding skills. Dragon Fury, which was a swing attack that did one line of damage but had increased range, and Crusher, which stabbed a couple of enemies a couple of times. Fun fact, leveling up this skill crusher would increase the amount of attacks, the amount of lines and the amount of enemies hit. But the more hits you did, the lower the amount of enemies you could attack. For example, at level 15 of this skill, the Dragonite would attack 3 enemies 2 times with this skill. But at level 16, they would only attack 1 enemy 3 times. And only leveling up this skill again would increase the amount of enemies hit and of course the damage. So what most Dragonites did back then, they just left this skill at level 15 until they had enough skill points to get back to the point where they could hit 3 monsters again. And and of course there was a spare and polearm variant of the third job skills Crusher and Dragon Fury. Back then the warrior classes had separate skills for their third job attacks. For example Crusader learned a separate panic skill if they were using a sword and it was a different skill if they wanted to use panic with an axe. And the White Knight also had different skills for their elemental charges, depending on if they wanted to use a sword or a blunt weapon. And for those classes that was kind of fine, because their skills would still be swings or stabs, it didn't really matter that much. But for the Dragon Knight this was a different story. The Dragon Knight their main mobbing third job skills, Crusher and Dragon Fury, would either always be a slash or a stab animation, depending on if they used Crusher, which was always a stab, or Dragon Fury, which was always a swing. So if you maxed out your spear skills, your crusher would be slightly stronger than polearm dragon knights who dealt a bit more damage using dragon fury instead. Your choices really mattered a lot back then. Dragon Knights were amazing at grinding, their skills did a ton of damage and because they were very tanky with a lot of HP, it was a very easy class to play as well and already had the identity of a warrior class that sacrifices his own HP for buffs to increase their damage. This identity was buffed even more when Forgeup was released, giving the Dark Knight, the Forgeup advancement of the Dragon Knight, a Beholder summon that gave even more buffs and their Berserk passive skill increased their damage depending on how low their HP was. I actually misremembered the next bit, I thought Dark Knights always had the Dark and skill, but this actually wasn't released until the Ascension update way after the Big Bang update. The Dragon Knight and Dark Knight remained in the game for a while, even after Big Bang, but they made all their skills red instead of blue for some reason. <laughs> for example, this bit right here was filmed during the Ascension update. This is actually the earliest footage that I found that I have of my old school DK. However, after what? Seven years, the Dragon Knight was officially removed and renamed to the Berserker class with the Maple Story Red update. This update was the first big overhaul of the Explorer classes, giving most of them flash jump and newer skills, and also changing the identity of the Dragon Knight to a warrior that made a pact with darkness and can cheat death. 
So why did the Dragonite have to go? It was such an iconic class and the first class to reach level 200 in Maple Global. Well, that's because one year before the big Explorer revamp, another Dragon Warrior was released, the Kaiser class, and with it came a whole new area called Grandis and a new race that all had dragon features like tails, wings, horns, all the, the classic dragon stuff. Kaiser is way more of an actual dragon, but with the dragon class space already filled up, it could be that the developers thought Maples would get confused why there was a warrior class called Dragon Knight that had nothing to do with Grandis, and an actual dragon warrior class that wasn't called Dragon Knight. So to give the Dark Knight more of a unique identity, the Dragon Knight was removed and replaced with the Berserker. And while the Dragon Knight may be gone forever, replaced by Kaiser sorta, it still remains one of the most iconic Maple Story classes to me. And that was all for today. Do you remember the Dragon Knight or perhaps even played it? Let me know in the comments. And as always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Thanks to Niels de Konik, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Riley Oz, Terry Kim, Varys, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safronix, Lonzo, BG Extremes, Anwar NHI, Frank Bouguet, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, BeamerWT, Knifesu, Chen125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy, Glazen, Brandon Cam, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Machaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zhang, Afterlord underscore MS, Heo Pan, Simak, Striker Elk, Martin Panzik, Niu, Tide One Pan, Victor Sundstrom, Radicals the Alien, Riser RU, Gummy Bullet, Lucky Beats, Lovebird, Ref Soli, Sir Tito 655, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Anark, Galando Belavia. I'm disappointed. My name is Copperson and I'm super cute XOXO. PC Game Life, Yo Mama, Dante Victory, Stanislaus. Kazumo Vegas, level 241 Paladin Reboot, Caveman, oh yeah, Crazy Ladette and The Passenger. Thank you all so much for watching, stay safe and happy mapling!